What's up guys, it's Aparicio and today what we're going to be doing is creating perfect skin tones in DaVinci Resolve. A lot of people struggle with this, but it's actually very simple, so let me show you. This is our shot here, right? This shot will be in the description so you can take it and use it and follow along. So let's bring it on over to the color page. Here we go. This is pretty much going to be covering color correcting. You have to go through these steps to get good skin tones. So we're going to call the this first node primaries. All right. And then create two more. We'll call the second curves. We will be calling the third one WB for white balance. You know this. I know this. All right, so let's click on our primaries and let's go to the wheels. Let's go ahead and look at our parade. Okay. And we want to keep it kind of cinematic. So we're going to bring the highlights around seven, six, eight. We'll park them there. I'm going to go to our lift and kind of bring our shadows down and bring our midtones down as well. Now let's go hit curves and make sure you are here. You see here our blacks are almost crushed so we're just gonna lift them a bit higher there with the curves then bring down our lower midtones to higher shadows we'll bring those down okay and then we'll go ahead and bring the highlights back up a little bit there we go so now let's get the white balance right this is gonna be what creates your nice looking skin all right because guys whoever you're shooting they want to look sexy let's be real and they're not going to look sexy with a green tint in their skin too much magenta so let's balance the shot out with white balance so we're going to go here and make sure you have your vector scope open and this is the skin tone indicator right here this little line and if you're you don't see yours you probably don't have it turned on so if you don't have yours turned on you're going to go right here click and then you're going to click down here where it says show skin tone indicator okay all right so obviously right off the bat these are our skin tones right here you can see i'll point it out right there you see them that's where our skin tones sit they're a little off uh, they're a little down towards the green as you can see here so the colors on the color wheel are the colors on the scopes the vector scope that's where the colors are so if you see down here is the green and our skin tones are down toward the green it's a no-no unless you're going for that look you know i'm trying to balance this shot out maybe it's for a client or it's before you go to grade to give your look you don't want to um, properly balance the shot so let's go to offset on our primary wheels and we're going to bring it toward the magenta all right and then i'm just going to cool the shot off so toward the magenta and then a little toward the blue. And I think I like it sitting right there. So let's go before and after. It's already a night and day. All right, so now we're going to create another node. You can call this look. And say you wanted to create a look where it's, say you wanted to create a look where it's just, um, the atmosphere is a little warm so you go to offset, you go up to orange a little bit, and then you wanted the shadows to stay pretty cool. So you drag the lift toward the blue. Okay, so we go off and on with our look. See how warm it becomes. It's a little too warm. We'll take it down. You want to be subtle. That's better. So you can see our skin tones right there on the line. Closer to magenta now. Create another node call it skin check this out you're going to be right here where the curves are you're going to go to hue versus hue highlight the skin and if you look you can see how much we can control the skin and you can see even see it on the vector scope so this is a great spot to control uh, your skin tones i think my skin tones are sitting pretty well already i don't think i need to mess with this but if you needed to this is a good spot after the white balance if your skin is still a little messed up or if you're 50% through your look and your uh, and your I can't speak uh, you're in the process of applying your look and your skin tones aren't sitting where you want them to sit uh, the curves here hue versus hue is a good spot to adjust that uh, what I'm gonna do with my skin is I'm gonna delete this skin node and I'm gonna make another node and I'm going to add a power window and I'm just going to highlight my face 
primarily. I am going to go to my log wheels. So remember with your log wheels, it's more controlled. So if you're adjusting the highlights, uh, hue and luminance, it won't really affect the shadows or really the midtones as opposed to the primary wheels over here. With the log wheels, it's more controlled. We're gonna go to my highlights and we're just gonna pull it up a little bit. And then we're gonna go to midtones. pull them down a little bit and then we'll go to shadows and drop them down even more and as you can see it'll make our face more three-dimensional giving our face more contrast and then what I would probably do is before this node go to the look node and I'm gonna call this skin and then I'm gonna go back to my curves and go to uh, hue versus sat so I'm affecting the saturation of whatever hue I select. I'm going to select my skin and I'm just going to bring that down because my skin is too saturated. So there we go. And then if you want to add to your power window, click it, right click it, and then add a parallel. Go ahead to your power windows, select this one. And if you want the shot to be more focused on your face. Obviously we can add a power window. Remember to always put the power window not right in the middle of your face, but more where the uh, the main key light is hitting you, the highlight of your face. Go back to our regular wheels. So let's look. Okay, we wanted to affect the gray, so let's go ahead and invert that. There we go, turn your highlight off, and then bring down the, the gain and the gamma. And let's turn that off and on. Control D. And now the shot is a lot more focused toward my face. There you guys have it. That is how you get correct skin tones, perfect skin tones. You really want it to be on that line. When you get to uh, applying your look, doesn't always have to be directly on that line. It depends what look you're going for, but that line is always a good indicator when you're correcting your shot so you can uh, have more flexibility while creating your look. So thank you for watching. I hope you learned and I'm going to see you in the next one.